Welcome to the CKA series part 19, in this video we will cover a question on ETCD backup and restore. 21st the question is, create a snapshot of ETCD and save it to a particular location. Location and the backup name mentioned here, you can use the below certificates for that. After taking the backup, you have to restore an old backup that is stored in another location to ETCD backup folder. Please note, you have to restore the old backup, not the latest one. Once you restored, then you have to change the ETCD pod volume mount path to the new path. The weightage of this question is 12%. Without further delay, let's go to the cluster. First, Check the certificates that are mentioned in the question under the root directory. We have two certificates and a server key for taking the snapshot. Let's go to the documentation and search for etcd snapshot. Choose the first link and scroll down. Copy this command to a notepad. According to the question, we have to save the snapshot to under slash root slash backup directory, and the backup name should be etcd backup new. Next, we need to provide the path of the certificates and the key. Perfect. Let's copy and apply it to the cluster. Done. Snapshot is created. Next we need to verify the snapshot, so let's go to the documentation. Just copy this command. Yes, our snapshot is perfect. Next, we need to restore an old backup. Please note, as per the question we need to restore an old backup instead of the latest one. This is the new backup, and we need to restore the old one. Okay, let's go to the documentation. We can take this command as reference. Actually, 
we need to do only a small change in the existing command for converting to the restore, so just remove the save and replace it with the restore command. And the snapshot should be the old one. And we need to add the restore destination directory here, as per the question it should be etcd backup under the slash var slash lib. So just copy the data directory and add into the command. Perfect, if we run this command, then our old backup will be restored to the etcd backup directory. Okay, before that, we need to check the current pods in our cluster. Currently, we have one pod, we need to check the pods after the restoration. So I'm adding one more pod. Actually, you don't need to do this in the examination. I am doing this only for the purposes of confirming whether our snapshot is restored or not after restoration. Okay, now we have two pods, let's apply the restore command. Our snapshot is successfully restored to etcd backup directory. Okay, let's go to the location. This is the location of the old snapshot restored. We can see one etcd directory here, which is the current volume mount point of the etcd pod, we have to change this location to our etcd backup directory. So, let's go to the manifest folder. etcd pod is a static ba, so, we have to edit an etcd yaml file. This is the path for volume munt into the etcd pod, we have to change this path to the etcd backup directory. Let's save and exit, since it is a static pod, kubelet service will recreate the pod once it is updated. Let's check the available pods now, it may take a few minutes, in the examination you don't have to test this. Once you restore the ETCD then you can go to the next question. This is the high weightage question in the CKA examination, so you have to learn this very well, that's why we provided this in two sections. Yes, it is restored. Thank you for watching this video. If you felt this video is useful for your certification, then please do like and subscribe.